You're listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin, making the real estate journey accessible to anyone. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here at the Guts and Grind podcast. And this week's episode, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to do a top 10 list of the top 10 items that we think should be on every homeowner or home investor's list when it comes to home maintenance. So let's dive in. All right, number 10, draining your water heater. I know a lot of people don't think about that, but water heaters can do crazy amount of damage depending on where it's located. I've seen a lot of them actually built into the ceilings um, and they have to be in an elevated area, but I highly recommend as a maintenance item to drain those, get a plumber to come out. They'll come out and drain all the water out of that water heater because they, those water heaters almost serve and they end up being like a water filter because all that gunk from the water ends up being filtered through there. And so we highly recommend that you have those things drained. That way it prolongs the life of the water heater. And so with number 10, draining your water heater. Number nine on our list is, it's a pretty easy one. It's simply to just do an exterior walk of your home. So a lot of people fail to do that. I mean, whether it's finding cracks in your foundation, just taking a look at the ceiling, the the roofs, make sure there's no shingles out of place, things like that. We think an exterior walk, you know, annually, twice a year, um, can't hurt you, right? You can at least identify holes, maybe holes in the faucet, uh, in the soffits of the ceiling where animals can crawl up into your ceilings, things like that. Just identifying those, sealing them, and make sure those things are resolved. Number eight on our list is ensuring all the exterior windows and doors are sealed. So your AC is working hard to keep the, the house cooled or your heater is working hard to keep it warm, uh, wherever you're located. But if there's cracks in the windows, if there's cracks in the doors, you're working those systems 10 times harder and it's good to just do a simple caulking of the windows, meaning you'll find these sealants that you can actually seal around the windows uh, painters use them a lot. Uh, even door trims, putting actual insulated door trims around the doors will save so much energy when it comes to your home and also prolonging the life of your uh, HVAC system. Number seven on our list is smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors. So every home needs to have a smoke detector. It's uh, almost a code thing. So you actually have to have uh, smoke detectors within every uh, major living area as well as rooms. And so just making sure the batteries are up to date on them. If they're working, if they're not working, replacing them. It's a simple walkthrough and get it done. Uh, just make it a once a year thing and keep that on your list as a to-do. Number six on our list is checking toilets and wet areas in your home. So toilets, mostly in bathrooms, uh, just visible checks for cracks, uh, making sure they don't need to get replaced. If you see uh, water dripping in the bowl, that means uh, the, the actual flaps are need to be replaced. You could be saving a lot of water. Um, going underneath the sinks, making sure there's no uh, wet areas in your cabinets is essential because there could be leaks coming out of the sinks and doing long-term wood rot and mold and things like that. So remediating, remediating those things initially and just doing a visible check every once a year or twice a year will save you guys a lot of headache. And I've seen a ton of leaks in those areas, especially when I mean wet areas. So check those toilets and those wet areas under the sink and cabinets. Number five on our list is checking the ceilings and walls for water spots. So another You'll see a lot of this deter is, is all about water leakage, making sure there's no cracks in the ceilings, no cracks in the walls, any cracks that are on doorways can potentially mean there's a foundation issue. So just visible checks every once or twice a year on the inside of your home will do you a lot of good as far as just checking to make sure there's no bigger issue or underlying issue when it comes to cracks, water spots, uh, make sure there's no roof leak. So if you see a, a wet spot in the ceiling, that means there's most likely a ceiling leak. 
Um, and so resolving those and catching them early is key. You catch it early, you can resolve it and nip it in the bud without it being a bigger problem later on. All right, and number four on our list is checking exterior drains and gutters. This may be something small. A lot of people may say, why? Why are you checking that? Gutters can block up on, if they're not cleaned, which means water's not flowing properly. If the water's not flowing properly, it's not coming off the roof properly. You can, if you don't have gutters, they can basically dig a trench around your whole house. Means the dirt can come away from your foundation. Um, it can cause premature cracking on your foundation. If there's water pooling up in certain parts of the, the yard, which means the draining is not working properly, you may need to put in some French drains. Those kind of things are, are key. It may be small, but it can do a lot of long-term damage to the home and the way the house sits. Uh, water's supposed to naturally flow off of your yard. And so just making sure the water naturally drains off. And you can actually watch it when it, when it rains and that could be one of the big things you can kind of check out. So checking your exterior drainage, including all the gutters are cleaned and it's flowing properly and working is again, I would say a one time a year thing to just check out. Number three on our list is, has to deal with the HVAC or AC system. There is a drainage tube that actually is exposed um, at the AC unit where you're supposed to actually clean and pour a partial uh, bleach water mixture into it to keep all the algae out of it. Naturally, your AC builds condensation and has to drain the water out. And if that water sits there, it can build up into algae or mold and block up those lines. And so there's an exterior line by the AC that you have to actually pour a little bleach solution in there so it kind of keeps that water flowing properly. Uh, otherwise, I've seen a lot of water back up and, and drain into the, the pans of the AC and eventually those kind of things leak into the house as well. Cleaning the spout for the AC to drain all the condensation out, that's a once a year at least um, to, to pour down the, the, that, that pipe or that flute to make sure it's clear and clean. Number two on our list is AC filters, something super easy. But again, to keep these machines running super efficiently and flowing well, make sure you swap out your AC filters every three to six months. A lot of it's also visible checks. Those kind of things you just gotta pull out and see if it's dirty. If it is, then you swap it out. Depending on if you have a, a main media filter, meaning there's only one big filter sitting at the AC unit, or you may have multiple returns within the house. You may have to change all those filters out. But doing that every three to six months will keep your AC running in optimal, optimal fashion. So change out your AC filters. And the number one and top item on my list, on our list, is not a home maintenance item. It's more identifying where your main water shutoff is. You'll notice that a lot of these things that we discuss is all about, you know, water damage. And so if you don't know where your main water shut off the valve is, that could be essential to how much damage can be done to a house. So if you don't know where that water main water shut off is, please find it, locate it, and know how to turn off your water. A lot of times you have two access points, depending on how old your home is, you have one in the garage or right outside your house that you can actually just flip a knob. And then you always have the main that's actually hooked up to the main water system where you can actually just go out to the water meter and then turn the knob at the water meter, uh, at the water meter to shut off the water. So that, again, is our top item to identify when it comes to home maintenance and just knowing how to run a well efficient home. There's a lot of things that you got to cover, but there's our top ten. Hope you guys found it very informational. And if you guys have questions, feel free to reach out, let us know. And as always, we'll see you next time. Thanks for listening to Guts and Grind with Siju and Sajin. Be sure to tune in next time.